This presentation will address the focus question, how are priority issues for Australia's health identified, focusing on measuring health status and looking specifically at measures of epidemiology, particularly mortality. And I'll be looking at some tables and graphs to look at some current trends in mortality and compare males with females. Mortality can be defined as the number of deaths in a given population from a particular cause and or over a period of time. So mortality relates to the number of deaths. In this graph you can see the death rate dating back to 1907 right through to 2013 and you can see that the, the trend or the way that the lines are moving is moving downward. So less people are dying as a proportion of the population in 2013 than in 1907. You can also see that the number of males dying with compa in comparison to females is quite different as well and has fluctuated over time. You can see that the number of females has always been lower than males over time, but this has certainly narrowed over time. And you can see from 1995 to 2013, there has been a narrowing of the gap between male and female mortality. This graph also shows mortality, but it's comparing two different groups in the population. It's, it's comparing the indigenous population with the non-indigenous population. And what you can see between 1998 and 2013, there has been a higher proportion of indigenous people uh, that have died than non-Indigenous people. So the mortality rate for Indigenous people is higher than that of non-Indigenous people. This particular set of graphs shows the proportion of people dying at different age groups for the Indigenous population and the non-Indigenous population. And you can see that the Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander graph shows a larger number of people dying between the ages of 40 and 60 than the non-Indigenous population. And this will relate back to life expectancy, which we'll talk about a little bit later. This table shows the leading causes of death in Australia. You can see that ischemic heart disease is the number one cause of death. Ischemic heart disease is another way of saying coronary heart disease. And these are diseases that affect the coronary artery in the heart, often the coronary artery, due to dietary habits or smoking or stress, can build up with plaque and it can block the blood's travel uh, to the heart muscle. And this leads to either uh, chest pains or heart attack. So that's our number one killer. But you can see that the number of people dying from this has actually fallen. Cerebrovascular disease refers to stroke and you can see that the number of people dying from stroke has also fallen. On the other hand, dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, uh, has actually increased dramatically between 2005 and 2014, as has diabetes and accidental falls. The number of people dying from dementia and accidental falls could be linked to the ageing population. Skin cancers has also shown a small increase as has chronic lower respiratory disease. Diabetes has also increased. Mortality inequality in Australia. More males die than females, and the suicide rate is also uh, higher for men than it is for women. And many more men die of coronary heart disease than women. On the other hand, more women are dying of dementia and Alzheimer's disease than men. This chart clearly shows the five leading causes of death uh, but it compares males with females, and you can see, as mentioned, that coronary heart disease clearly affects more men than women. But Alzheimer's disease and dementia is affecting many more women. Likewise, cerebrovascular disease or stroke is affecting more women. And lung cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease are affecting more uh, men than women. This graph shows the trends or the... Uh, the patterns of death for major causes of death. And you can see that circulatory disease or cardiovascular disease was the major cause of death uh, 
around between 1941 and also very high leading up to the 70s. But you can see a dramatic fall from 1977 down to 2013 uh, with far less people dying of circulatory disease than ever before. Uh, you can see cancer is the the line that intersects with circulatory disease here, and you can see that that's remained fairly constant, although there has been some fall between 1995 and 2013. You can see various other causes of death there. This takes a closer look at cardiovascular disease, and you can see that the trend is downward for males and females. However, still more males die from CVD than females. However, the gap has certainly narrowed. Cancer, and you can see that deaths from cancer has taken a slight fall since 1995. And you can see it's been a gradual fall. When comparing males and females in terms of mortality from cancer, you can see that both males and females are affected by lung cancer, but more males are likely uh, to be affected by lung cancer. Breast cancer obviously affects females more, as does prostate cancer for males. But colorectal cancer clearly affects more men than females. Pancreatic cancer affecting more men than females. And cancer of unknown primary site is about the same for males and females.